Hello, everyone. It's uh, we're starting off with a new Shell podcast. I think it's four. Yeah, we got our fourth one here. We've been we've been grinding for the, the podcast. We got our special guests, CJ142 and Larsonis. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Thank you for what having up, us. What up? What up? What up? Yeah, we'll uh, just start off with like a little intro about yourself, like who you guys are and what you guys want to do. Whoever wants to start, I'll start. CJ. Yeah. Yeah, my name is CJ, but really my name is Cam. CJ originates <laughs> all the way back in 2009 when my parents got us an Xbox. And my brother Jared and I wanted to get a gamer tag together. So we combined it naturally because we're very creative. Mm-hmm. Added our hockey numbers 14 and 2. And thus CJ was born. And we started out with NHL. And very early on, Jared did not want to play anymore. <laughs> so. I took over the tag and it's been me ever since. I just never got around to changing the name, but CJ kind of stuck all the way through. Um, So primarily play NHL, obviously Uh, stream, been around the community for as long as NHL has been around. Uh, From a personal standpoint, I live in Philadelphia. So a diehard hockey fan, Flyers fan, Phillies, Eagles, Philly through and through. Uh, I did do a brief stint in Pittsburgh for college, but found myself back here ever since last year. So um that's where i've been living living with my fiance now so shout out to aaron uh and milo the dog so we've been here for about a year it. now it's the the wedding planning and all that fun stuff so Yikes. now i will cheers to myself and crack the beer Let's sounds go. like sounds like nhl is going to be ending soon for you <laughs> oh yeah next year's <laughs> the last year last year uh no more no more 20 and o's no more 20 and O's, no more not qualifying for lands, nothing like that. That's, 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 you sad at all or are you ready to start your life? Oh, no, I'm not <laughs> sad at all. Um, I've, I've kind of bowed out from the uh, competitive stuff for a while, just kind of plateaued and never quite uh, got over the hump, but I'm pretty much okay with that. I, I'm happy with what I'm doing outside of the NHL community, but still happy to be a part of it, you know, as much as I can be yeah. uh, when I have the time, so works are right, you going to be able to top that intro Lars? <laughs> i don't know that was a little <laughs> that was pretty like professional CJ, that's why i'm gave first. Us like a whole i thought like uh <laughs> did you you even gave us like your social security in that too well, i was just reading off the prompt i typed oh, up like yeah. an hour so okay you're kidding right <laughs> yeah yes, i'm <laughs> kidding i don't have anything all right well i'm not going to be able to keep up with that but i'm going to keep it simple um my name's john and I guess Lucente, we could say the last name so everybody can go and Google it. I'm sure everybody already knows it because I probably said it. Um, I've been playing NHL forever, like Hut. Been using my, since using my mom's credit card from Jump. Whenever Hut started, used to run home from college, grab the credit card, come back, throw it in the system, spend as much as I used to with my mom's. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But like a lot. Um, nothing compared to now because it's really crazy. Um, I I love NHL. I guess I mean everybody hates it, but I love it and I still play it and still grinding. And um, I don't know. I just started streaming last year, came on quickly, and I don't know. I mean, what about like your personal life? Like, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, gamble on sports. Gamble, um, nice. That's always fun. Responsibly, of course. No, of course. no. Um, for fun, I don't know. I'm not really that fun of a guy. That's you gonna you gotta find some hobbies to get into. Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I used to golf. I don't know. I suck at it. So it's like it's, it's not, not really a hobby if you don't do it anymore, is it? Uh, I guess no. I guess you're right. <laughs> well, you know, maybe you is drinking one. a hobby. I guess. Depends how much you do it. Responsibly. <laughs> Again. Oh, God. Stop with the responsible shit. <laughs> See, we allowed just... the cur- we're allowed to curse, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Don't curse. Don't Dude, curse. if you curse, you're out. <laughs> it gets bleeped. Yeah. Everyone, I'm going to make sure I go in and... No. So, um, um okay. you got any big bets today, either of you? Big bets. Define big. Oh. Like, yeah. you know, I don't know, like... um. I would say it's uh it's all relative, right? Bet within your means, bet where you're comfortable, probably losing, understand um, that you're not going at all, me, but we got a few. Me and him, uh, like we've been battling back and forth. Like he's been sending me winners that I haven't been taking. 
Been, and like then a lot I, of winners. And then I say that he lies. And you know how these Twitter guys are all, I win all the time. Yeah. So I was calling him out saying he does that. But then he's, he's right. Then today, so what happened is today I took the bets. So mm. you know what that means, right? Everything's going to mess. And all of them are going to lose. So <laughs> I'm very prepared for that to happen. But then I want it to happen so I could make fun of him about it. Well, then I lose too. That's no fun. We win together. <laughs> well, we're going to lose together today. You got to keep the vibes up. Nah, I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, we got this. I um I took uh, the Dinger Tuesday on uh, the FanDuel or whatever. So, like, you do uh, $25 per game or whatever. So, I did on every single game. So, it's either going to be a really big miss or solid hit. <laughs> Ballsy. I yeah, like it. I don't even know. I think he, I don't even look at that stuff. I got into yeah. that, but I got out real quick. It is uh not very profitable. I'm on a three long run. three week streak of winning, so we'll see how it goes this week. Um, because like you get five dollars per home run in each game, plus the the if you hit the home run, it is still risky. But um, what, if I yeah, what's up? What's your unit? Uh, it's just not that big. I think uh, I I think it's twenty five dollars to get the maximum. Uh, free play yeah, so, yeah. so then it's 25 times 14 which is what 350 and then you can win like if, if you um say say there's two home runs per game and it's just just approximately that's already like 200 dollars all right now like 150 so then you need three hit, three home runs to make profit yeah out of four because <laughs> you were you're saying that no runs in the first inning after they scored two i was like all right get on here that that ain't <laughs> You're not coming back from that. No, I know. Like I just said, all right. How did it end? Um, it's actually two to three right now. Somehow, in the first. <laughs> so there's really no runs. There's a chance. There is really a lot of runs. Of course, Mountcastle well, just hit a home run. So all well, the home team. Has oh, so like you would have won. Yeah, you just stayed. Yeah, but it, it doesn't look too too good. But you never know. There's still. I would. They, yeah, if up? that won, I would be mad. Because yeah. they scored two runs and then they tied it. You should have like plus odds on that. Like who could have guessed five runs in the first first inning when it's like supposed to be like like a low scoring what's, game. What's like the over so and under. Stupid. It was only seven the whole seven. game. Yeah, that's what it's tricks. That's the <laughs> yeah. baseball for you. We just need football. We just need football. Yeah, you big football fan? Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Betting too. Yeah, I mean betting uh, is the most fun in football. Of course I'm four for four like he is with Philly. I live in South Jersey though. So it's like right over the bridge. Not South North Jersey. Jersey's really Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it depends on how so, south you want to go. You know the joke about South Jersey? I'm sure I've heard with it, the but with the know. bridge. So there's one bridge to get from Philly to South Jersey. And that you is, don't you don't have to pay. Well, the main one. You don't have to pay to go into New Jersey, but you gotta pay to get out of it. Yeah, but there's that's a lot take anybody two bridge. The Walt Whitman. Or the, the Ben, ben Franklin. Franklin. Yeah, the Ben Franklin, you got to pay. You got to pay. Oh, to get, you have to pay on both sides. On... No, you don't. Only one way. Yeah, on both sides. Yeah, one way on both sides. Only to no, get. No, yeah, in. you're right, actually. Yeah. I... Wait. Yeah, I guess you're right. I see. What you're you Uber, you don't even have to worry about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want to show all your, all your fans your, your nice shirt, Larsonist? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's supporting. Look Wait, now you got to intro yourself now. We introed ourselves. Well, like, I guess I'll, I'll, I'm going to give like a terrible intro. Um, all right. So I'm, I'm a college kid. Um, mm. I uh, work here and there um, at the school um, I, for like uh, sports and stuff like that. I do like the stats and stuff for hockey, um, the score sheets and stuff. So I get paid for that. And um, I work there too. And um, I, uh, my major is sports management. So goes right hand in hand it's kind of a risky uh what's called a major because uh like you never know if you're gonna get something it's kind of like who you meet and then you like move up from that but it's like something i want to do so i want to try to continue to keep doing that yeah it's, it's business though either way yeah. right yeah so, yeah, yeah. What's i take the end goal there? there um what do you want to do like i don't know like my end end goal would be like a sports analysis or something like that, but that's super tough. Like to get into like all the. I did way a lot of it. sports analytics in college. I took a uh, sports modeling class. I don't know if you can see behind me. Oh look, there's a, a diploma. <laughs> I there. just seen that. Wow. Before we got on, and I I 
They've never seen that before. Well, I tried to hide it, but you know. Uh, yeah, is um, that, is that Photoshop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Um, but you I took a sports now. modeling class, and you could actually model the optimal time to pull your goalie um, when you should go for two or kick a field goal or stuff like that, onside kick. So you could actually model it and do the analytics behind it and basically make decisions based off the probability and statistics. So sounds yeah, like something uh, you're kind of doing over there. Yeah. But there's yeah. a lot of uh, analytical what trends. Uh, just a small school. It's uh, in upstate New York. It's called uh, SUNY Canton. It's super small. I've heard of SUNY. There's a bunch of uh, them, right? Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. bunch of SUNYs. Yeah, like the SUNY part is pretty big. But... Are you So you're in New York? Yeah. Okay. Oh, who do you root for then? Someone not in New York. The, the All Red right, explain a little bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm a Detroit Red Wings fan. It's in the back. Nice. Well, yeah. I still have to ask. It, and I it's got... upside down, too. Do you like that? <laughs> yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, that's my, my favorite dad, player yeah, of all time. Wow. Let's go. Favorite player I of all time. I heard he used to play like him. That's why I liked him, yeah. He's, he's two, a two-way. Two two-way center, good oh. on the penalty kill, face-offs, pass first, doesn't I take think, penalties, keeps his head down. Sounds like Larsonus. Yeah, yeah, I'm basically describing I went John. To, uh, I went to Newman. Did you ever hear that? Uh, I haven't. No? I mean, it's like a ho- hockey school in Pennsylvania. Nice. But. I don't know. Were you were the best? Was I the best? I played roller hockey. <laughs> Let's go. But it's competitive. Like it was like competitive roller hockey. Ask him if he ever cherry picked. That was my specialty. Pick. I didn't. Yeah. It was like not like eighty-one offense, zero defense attributes. Wise, is that, is that your war? <laughs> yeah, like like defense non-existent. All right. I mean, I respect it. as long as you buried buried eighty one percent. And you enough. could in, in roller hockey, you could cherry pick. So it's you could. It's true. There's no offsides. There's no offsides. Anything so like that. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. I, I think that's definitely a good thing that you that you did. You know. Yeah. Um. So, uh, you got any uh future plans for uh your content? You got to try to uh place you're trying to go, get to. Like, I don't know if you want to like do anything different. Um, I don't know if it would be like go to the, your another uh, Flyers game and maybe do a, a vlog or something crazy like that. I don't know. I, don't know. Um, I got I, I'll take this. You want to start? Okay, uh, yeah. yeah go ahead. Uh, I mean, yeah, that would be cool. It, it, it Realizing after doing this streaming whole thing, it's hard. Mm-hmm. As you could see, it's hard. It's whatever, especially when we're playing with a game that is not really that big. It makes it even harder. Yep. So I would say you can't really live off this life. Um, but I mean, I guess Nasher did it, but Nasher did it in a different way. But yeah. um, I guess I would, I mean, like the vlog to go to a game. Yeah, I guess that would be cool. I mean, to, to do YouTube, I guess that would be cool. But it just seems too hard, especially with this game. Yeah, especially with the way agree. it is. I mean, I mean. I'm sure we'll get into talking about how the new game will be or what we hope, but yep. who knows? CJ, you got any? You agree? Yeah, so I got into streaming really just because there's a lot of toxicity within the community, and I wanted to kind of set a good example for the community just to be more of a, a face that's kind of behind the scenes, but I've been there for so long that I figure it's about time I kind of step out and, and play a little bit. Plus, I lost you know the kind of the itch or the love for the game just because it was so monotonous year after year. So I figured streaming, it would at least give me something to do. And I already had kind of a community built up from the years of playing. So it wasn't necessarily hard to break in. Um, But as far as like content and stuff, I really just want to kind of keep doing what I'm doing. I was pretty fortunate to get partner. And there was a lot of guys that helped me along the way, like No Sleeves, Henrik, and a bunch of others. So can't thank them enough for kind of showing me the ropes and giving me the raids and the help and support along the way. Um, So that was definitely a goal last year that I hit and I was pretty kind of humbled by it, to be honest. Um, But I really liked competing in the tournaments. The GWC was probably the highlight. I know it didn't go the way I wanted, obviously, but I would like to just continue streaming uh, really important games and tournaments. Um, So I do look to try to get into those next year. Um, Unfortunately, just the timing of a lot of them uh, doesn't work out for me. I don't have a PlayStation. I like to do things on weekends and not occupy my time kind of sitting there hour after hour waiting for games. So 
I don't think there's anything really I'm going to change other than just continue to be myself and grow within the community. Um, I'm not really looking into the YouTube stuff or the vlogs, but just continuing to try to meet as many people as I can. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate to go to a lot of LAN events, not really even competing, but just being there as more of a person kind of invested in the game and invested in the community. Um, I think that's what it's really all about at the end of the day. Yeah. Great answer. Um, so we won't be seeing no CJ TikToks in actual 23. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, even no, know. I mean, like, I'm, yeah, no, I just like, don't even have I like being an idiot. So yeah, like, well, that, I know we'll see Larson's TikToks. Yeah. I'll be an idiot. <laughs> there you go. Let's I mean, go. I mean, you've been in the community a long time. You deserve to be partner. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that for sure. Yeah, don't, nice. you, don't you agree? I definitely agree. He puts in the hours for it and he, oh, yeah. he definitely deserves it. Thank you boys. No problem. Um, so what, what is the worst thing you think that they, uh, added or, um, just already had an NHL 22? Like, what did you hate the most? Like, like the number one thing, um, my, mine was definitely like just how bad some of the goals are. Like, I don't know. I feel like so many times the you're passing it and it just goes right through the goal. It just doesn't make any sense at all. That's probably my least favorite thing. Yeah. That's definitely one. I think for me, I'm pretty optimistic. And if you guys have ever seen me on stream and stuff, I really don't get mm -hmm. mad or upset or complain at all. Um, and, and I kind of view that as whenever I watch someone complain about the game, mm -hmm. it makes me think like, why are you playing it if you don't like the game and you're constantly negative? So mm -hmm. I try not to be like that, but there are some things I would like to change. And it's really just from a, a game mode standpoint, there needs to be more to do. Um, you know, three sixes, hot versus I get all that. But when you look at games like Madden and MLB specifically, there's so many different game modes and little things you can do within the game um, that kind of occupy your time. And I would like to see a little bit more of that from the creative side uh, from the developers. But within the game, hockey's tough to simulate. It's random. There's always going to be stuff that doesn't go your way or kind of just is fluky and um, it's very tough to fix and we've seen it every single year. So I really don't think anything's going to change there, but I would like to see some more creative, uh, game modes for sure. Uh, right. Yeah. I mean, like the, like you, uh, I tweeted about this earlier, the BR mode. I mean, everybody talks about the BR mode. I get it. It's cool. MLB has it personally. I don't know how you could implement that into an, a hockey game without it being like you know, like an NHL hits type game, but that's how competitive is that? You know what I mean? Like BR and MLB is competitive, but how do you implement that in hockey? You know what I mean? Three on three overtime, like one period, is, <laughs> one period, one period is first that, to three. I, I just, yeah, there's I, ways I to do it. It just is, is that fun? Is, we'll find is, out. <laughs> it's not, you don't I, have to play it. Right. You know? Yeah. But I mean, if you go 12 and 0 in MLB, you obviously are a good player. Mm -hmm. So is it going to be the same thing as going 12 and 0 in NHL? You're going to be a good player or is it going to be random? I think so. It's hard to win 12 straight games randomly. I mean, five guys, three guys. I mean, it's different. It's, I think it's just so hard to implement, but like I always say to you, I think what NHL does is their BR mode is hut champs because it's 20 games you go 20 and 0, you get the best rewards. So I think that's what it's like. Do you get the best rewards though? Oh, you tell me. <laughs> you, you get packs, but you're not guaranteed anything. I would like to see some sort of a guarantee system, but yeah. obviously that's but, hot specific if we're talking overall NHL. Yeah, you know, that's but, another but how are they going to do that when if let's say you go how many times have you went 20 and 0? I'll let you flex. <laughs> Three, whoop de okay. do. Okay, so so if you get all the best players and then what happens to everybody else? So it has to be randomized. It can't be like baseball. It can't be like that. It should be. The good players should get rewarded. In so then way. you're going to be beating up on more people that, like, it's That's not, not going to be problem. Balanced. That's not my problem. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's why it's different between a baseball game and a hockey game yeah like yeah, you know yeah I mean? they're, they're different games though you know baseball you could have a 99 guy but if you can't hit a baseball you know you're not going to be good with a 99 card hockey's a little different because it's all about speed and size so right 
the way the game plays, it really doesn't matter the uh, stats. It's just, is he fast and is he big? That's usually well, what that, dictates a good player. By a video game standard. Yeah, not that's what life. we're talking about. But, I mean, yeah, they, there's got to be a way of fixing that also. Like a little guy, just because he's small, should still be good. Like, cause you know how it is now. They're like kind of unplayable, but playable. But like, you'd obviously rather have the monsters. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's pretty much yeah. They're they're pretty much unusable like almost all year. I guess in GWC though, the, the smaller cards were end up being better yeah, most yeah. of the time because of like the higher speed compared to the other ones. So like, well, it but it also feel like because I play on both systems, it mm. feels better that a young uh, a smaller guy can play better on PlayStation than Xbox. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's so much slower on PlayStation. Do you play like, on both? I do. I um I played uh, LG on both. Um I didn't play Versus or Hut on PlayStation though. Um is that do you think that's a different? Well, I wanted to ask you what you felt played better. So I think the Xbox was completely better, but PS4 was what was L- uh, LG, so it's just like an older console game. So I don't know if the PS5 version is like better um than yeah, the like, xbox series s version but like all year i was saying i thought playstation played better but now mm-hmm. i'm like kind of switching back it's it's we i could be in my own head but i don't know i definitely think playstation has their uh positives um to the game um but i think uh xbox is like complete like sm- like i think it's so much more smooth in like every every way and PlayStation, it feels like there's just so much more pokes. And then the bumps on PlayStation are a thing. Um, mm. You can just, like, hold LT for the entire time and just I can't can't bump you at all, which yeah. is I, – I think that's a skill gap, to, the bumps. Um, and that's definitely a good thing to have because if you're just holding unstoppable force with a big build the entire time, wait for someone to open up with the one T. I mean, it's almost unguardable. You you like the X factors? Um, some of them, some of them are all right, but – Others are overpowered. Um, yeah. I think it was better, but without any of them, to be honest. Oh, you Just, do? You don't? You don't like them? N- I mean, in general, like when when you have to have like magnetic or whatever in in ESHL, like it just takes up a spot. But like, if they made like ones that are like should be given in hockey, like having like magnetic or whatever to be able to pick the puck up um, all the time, or at least most of the time, then like maybe I could be on the side of X factors, but like when you need a certain uh, X factor to just pick up the puck, if someone passes a little bit harder than normal, I don't think that should be the game. I see. I don't know how that works on that side, but like the hot side, like the, I don't know the one T in the close quarters. Does that sound that it makes, does that do anything? (laughs) Like, I mean, it's just to scare you. Is that just the, like, you know what I mean? I play like, with that volume, any... man. I have no idea. Yeah, I've never it, heard it, the sound. It's fierce when it it's fierce yeah. when it happens. But like, is it what's it do? Does it do anything? Does it make an accuracy it just better? Just let you does know it that harder? it's activated. Yeah. That's what all. it activated? How? What does it do? I mean, if you have one T, if you take a one T, it activates. It lets you know. It just makes a sound. I guess I play it on you, man. I have no idea. <laughs> when when you shoot are, the close quarters, what is the sound? What does it sound like? What does yeah. it sound like? I think okay something like that something like that something like that but like what does that do what is it accuracy is it faster is it is it is it is it as close quarters are you all the above just these are more likely to go in it makes your your goalie open his legs more when he's shooting in the middle of that these are good questions i don't know they don't really have uh explanations on any of that stuff so yeah i kind of agree with you i'm more I like to differentiate, you know, my player build and use different combinations. But if there's like a meta, which there isn't any single game, right? You look at Call yeah. of Duty, everyone uses the same gun. Madden, everyone uses the same play. MLB, everyone uses Randy Johnson, right? There's always a meta. Mm-hmm. So guys are eventually going to figure out these are the players to use. These are the X factors to use and activate, right? So like you said, Magnetic, it kind of sucks to have on. But if everybody has it on, everyone's on an even playing field. So to me, I'm still okay with it um, as long as I, everyone's kind of even, but it does take away from the creativeness when you're sure. making your player. I, uh, I think gold shutdown is pretty, you know, that's pretty uh, overpowering too. Sure. I think it was more overpowering in the beginning of the game than it is towards the end. Towards the um, end. Yeah, definitely. But 
it's still yeah it, it was really good in the beginning when first they had game, that brent burns like, like yeah the brent first game burns, in, like, he, like yeah he, he could you could still use him yeah like you could still use him but for for some weird reason when i play playstation mm-hmm. the gold post to post works better than it does on xbox for the goalies yeah like everybody on playstation has it but rarely see it on xbox i saw it. you took it off right cj the other day or no uh i never played with the goalie with post oh, okay. to post except for i did make an all flyers team last week and i had i think ron hextall and i don't know if he had post to post but i took off all his abilities and he plays a lot better without abilities so i don't know sometimes there may be too quick to where people just catch it and shoot back far side so it kind of works in the opposite but I was never one to really get upset when goalies had post to post or guys on defense had gold shut down like there's still ways to beat it if you're good enough at the game you'll find ways and if you're not good enough you'll find ways to complain about it so I was all on board for abilities x factors anything differentiate and give you customization of your team although I will say a lot of them are overpowered so you kind of have to have them but again, if everybody has them, it's an even playing field, and the best player is typically going to win. I do like, I yeah, but I do like the X factors. I don't, I do, I do want to keep. Yeah, them. It gives you something to do right away, right? You can make an X factor. You can hope to get lucky. You can build him. You can keep him throughout the year. Yeah, you know, it constantly gives you something to do. And for guys that maybe don't have good pack luck or don't get good rewards, you can at least swap in with the exchanges or grind offline for some X factors and hopefully get lucky and get the one you want. So it does give you kind of the ability to earn good cards, even if you're not the best player. Yeah. X factors is great for free to play. Great for yeah. free to play. You can yeah. just keep them the entire year. Especially because of... they give you Matthew, who they give you Matthews in the beginning. Like, yeah, that's really yeah. good. I still have Barzell since day one. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Yeah, because like you can just turn a bunch of common gold cards and eventually you'll end up being able to upgrade your, your guy that you want to keep, which is cool. I, li- and, I like that. And then if you're like him with the hot champs rewards, it's gonna he's gonna go up even further, even faster. Because mm-hmm. you just turn yeah. him in. Yep, and you can pull nothing and be still happy. Yeah, right. Yeah, so it makes every card valuable, which again is kind of like MLB. Every card is worth something when you do live series, things like that. So every card you pull is worth something, right? You can exchange it. You can put it in your collections. You can use it to get collectibles, different sets. So um, you can even do, I think, the team builders throughout the year that started day one. So, you know, every yeah, card's worth big. it. You know, every pack's worth it. So it kind of pays to just grind the game and get packs. And if you're not going to spend your money, you can at least spend your time and get a good team that way. Yep, I agree. Squad battles. I mean, you're living proof of that. Don't tell my boss. Squad battles king. Only I'm during sending, work hours. Sending him in this video. I don't know. He doesn't. He's probably better at Zoom than you are. Actually, you can at least <laughs> <Dang>. open it. <laughs> That's true. Um, you, you guys yeah. still playing uh, MLB recently, or you guys? I only play those. I only play NHL and MLB. I, the, I'll during the day. I'll ask CJ to play me in NHL and lose every day. So and but twice today. That, wow, great. you're fiending. Yeah, every day I got to every day I try to play him, I try to beat him, but it just doesn't happen. There will be like a, one time he'll win and then he'll, you know, I'll hear about it for a week, but be all he has beat me I think it's three like, times this year. It's like I'm the little brother that's like get get ha- like, you know, play me, play me, play me. It's exactly but, the text that I get every day. I it gets uh, you better. Uh, uh, I respect No, that. that's not that, that's the thing. You don't get that's better a, playing it? That, that's it, that's what we were saying it's earlier. Good. I said to him, I was like, dude, you know what's funny is like, I can't retain any of this. Wow. We just play and then it just ends up the same every time. It just doesn't make any sense. I think he's just he's calculating you though. So it's a little bit uh, different. Yeah, he 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 likes he likes beating up on me. He likes doing it. Yeah. I mean he just I tries do. different yeah. things every game. <laughs> <laughs> I I I can't I I I I don't know how to adjust. I'm not sure. Does Next he have any year, advice year, for you? My advice for him? I try to tell him all the time. Like, yeah, he sees quit. how I score. Yeah, he he sees quit. what I do. Watch it, the stream. Just do it. It just never works. <laughs> he says, yeah. That's, I don't know. I guess One day just, I did. More you know, hours, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. 
Back to, you, back to your MLB question. One yeah, of us yeah. is a, a World Series ranked MLB player. I'll let you guess who it is, but I was uh, last year. I'm gonna guess <laughs> CJ, you know, just random guess. Yeah, that's correct. Um he I got pretty it. lucky, obviously, because Randy Johnson is like an automatic win, but I do like MLB, especially because when I'm working and stuff, I can play offline and games if I do play are pretty quick, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um NHL can sometimes take longer, especially to search for games. Yeah. So MLB is pretty quick. You can get right in. There's a lot of different game modes, like I said. So I think it is a really good kind of summer game, you know, to play for a couple months while we all wait. Um, I think a lot of people get burnt out from NHL, which if we take a step back and Lars and I are, you know, I'm 29, he's 30, 31, 32, something, but we've been playing games, you know, offline for years before online was a thing. And we've always been people that play games, well, at least for myself, like year round. Um, I don't necessarily get burnt out because I'm not playing the game every day or, uh, you know, playing for eight, 10 hours and kind of getting bored of it. So I think a lot of people like stop whenever GWC kind of ends, which never made sense to me because we never had anything to play for growing up, right? It was for the love of the game. It was for- For a leaderboard, that's all. Leaderboards, but really for me, it was it was social. It was a way for me to connect with all my middle school and high school friends. When I went to college, it was a way to just do what we're doing now, right? Put on the headset, play a game and just kind of shoot the shit and catch up um, while playing Bragging some games. Works. Like, yeah, and bragging rights, you know, within your friend group and stuff. But it was never, oh, if this tournament's over. I'm not playing for six months until the new game comes out. Like, we were playing all year round. So I think it's just a different mindset. Uh, contrary to that, though, I mean, if they had more game modes, would it be like that? Would yeah. people keep playing? Like, because, I mean, yeah. what do you do after – what is there to do after DWC? I mean, there's – rivals. The normal things there's nothing gwc is just a tournament right there's still other tournaments that come out you know people do Versus. wagers and stuff like that for money which i was into in college but at this point in my life i don't necessarily need to yeah. sweat out 10 and 20 dollar games but right. like, i get why people want something to play for i just like for me i i just play because i enjoy it and it's fun and if it's not enjoyable or not fun you know you don't have to play it yeah Sure. I mean, yeah, so, sometimes it becomes a chore to people. Yeah. yeah, and when it does, you don't have to play, but you shouldn't, you know, criticize or make fun of others if they're playing a game that they enjoy, right? Yeah. You know, they, yeah. You know people don't I, have to like I'll what you like. I openly tell you I love the game. I'm still going to play the game. <laughs> so do I. Mm -hmm. I love NHL. Let's can go. all say it. Uh, isn't it just crazy, though, how little we've had this year on NHL 23 news? At least I feel like it's been, like, literally just now, finally, we've gotten a little bit. Yeah, I think they always kind of keep it under wraps. And it, it's probably from a uh, standpoint that they don't necessarily know or don't want to give out too much information because a lot of it does change. Yeah. I remember even last year when the beta came out, like the game played so much differently than the beta. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I know the uh, trailer and teaser kind of dropped this week and we'll find out some more information in the next couple of days. But, yeah, it's a little bit weird that there's not a lot of things going on. The, the beta is usually brutal. So, I mean, I wouldn't base the game on that. But, again, it, I think they're going to take a huge hit if there is no crossplay because people aren't going to get the game. People are going to say, this is ridiculous. It is 2022, and we don't have crossplay. I think sales are going to take a hit. I got a question on that. So you guys We're back. CJ right. had a question. So my question is this, because we all want crossplay, right? Yep. If you guys said the game plays differently on Xbox and PlayStation. 100%. So if there's cross console, someone's going to benefit when an Xbox player plays a PlayStation player. So how can they figure that out? And how can we have a justifiable cross console game if the game plays differently? Another thing, is that going to mess with servers too? Probably it's the same not. server. That, that won't mess with sides. anything? I don't think so. No. The game is definitely different, and nobody's going can tell me otherwise. It it feels different on both. Nobody can tell me otherwise. That's a really good question. I don't have an answer for that. I yeah, don't so know. for that reason, I don't think cross console is a thing. I think there might be a chance where Xbox plays like old gen and new gen play each other, and there's maybe one market oh. on the Xbox side. 
I kind of lean towards that. But I think so too. At least for now. Yeah, and there could be the same enough? market. It could affect us even like the new gen people who've gotten the new like it it could hurt us because we have to not have as good graphics because we have to play an old gen or like it's a lot of syncing or like stuff like that. Yeah, um, and they had that issue in twenty one, right, with the syncing and but mm-hmm. it was playable if you had a new gen or an old gen console, you could play each other. So yeah, we'll see. That is really so. Like I I tweeted that I think when they were implemented, I said this. When they said play together, I think it's men and women. I, I that's what I think it means. I don't think it means cross play. Um, I mean, haven't they like previewed that before? I mean, L- I feel L- like they've had before. Like what said that that's going to happen? Yeah, and um, then, then that's I don't know. I, then I think maybe that that's got to be it. Because, like you just said, I never really thought of that. I mean, how would they do that? I don't know. I don't think it'll work though. Did you have a PS5 Larsonus or do you? Yeah. So yeah. you played the PS5 version of, of NHL? Yes. That's okay. Like, I was doing free to play on that and million dollar team on Xbox. Did you like either one more than the other or? I did like Xbox. I did like oh, PlayStation yeah, you did better. That. No, yeah. I did like PlayStation better, but now I think I like Xbox better. Okay. I, I don't I, know. I, 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 I think the game changes. CJ says it's all in your head. When I say, CJ, the game's different. The game's different. It feels different. No, 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 it's not. I don't I'm know. I'm on your side a little bit. I feel like they I change the a couple of things. Different. Not I everything, think, but, like, there's definitely some things I feel like they're tweaking. I don't I, know. I, I think it, I have, like, a tinfoil hat theory about it that, like, it's a subscription, and we just pay for it every year, and they just update it. But and they just update the game throughout the year and we don't know it. And when the overalls go higher, they update it. That's just what I think. But I may be wrong. But the the good the argument to it is is the best players always do the best. So I don't know how to answer that. Do you think there's zero change, CJ, when there's not any roster or like a tuner updates? If there's not one, then there's nothing changed. I really don't think so. There could be things where they potentially revert. Mm-hmm. to like previous versions if let's say a new change overlaps or maybe they have to backdate a certain change but i don't i don't think it's anything new i think if anything they kind of reset some of the things back to previous iterations or changes that they make throughout the year is that because of players being overall higher as the game goes on i don't know i from like a nerd standpoint, when you add certain things into the game, you create more and more bandwidth on the game, if you will. Mm-hmm. And if you create too many new things, you probably have to take something back down to just kind of even, even it, out it out because yeah. they don't, I think, have the capacity to continue adding on things, right? You got to kind of take some stuff away. That's what I think. I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true. But from a, a nerd standpoint, that would make sense to me. That's that's a fair point. Um, so we get back to the uh, the PlayStation Xbox thing. Um, even even like uh, in ones or versus hot or whatever, it's completely different than World of Chell and 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 uh, on the PlayStation side. I can kind of feel like it's similar on the Xbox side, like versus and hot and uh, ESHL. Like it feels like it plays the same, but like PlayStation. Um, the versus like plays completely different than World of Shell, in my opinion, too, which is weird. I've never played anything. I've never yeah. played anything but Hut on PlayStation, mm-hmm. so I don't. I've never. Yeah, I was just saying that as a point. To I've never had a PlayStation. Can't afford it. <laughs> you could definitely afford it. <laughs> you ever will get one or not? Nah? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm yeah, not gonna... you will. I'll tell you when. Uh, Only NHL well, 24 PlayStation. No, I might as well announce <laughs> my giveaway for day one. I'm giving Ooh. away a PlayStation. Wow. Don't tell anyone it's going to CJ, all right? Well, I'm, going to, I'm going to rig it so it comes back to me. Is this a new gen PlayStation? I, I'll show you. Yeah, Let's, uh, get that out. I want to see this. Everyone Net- watching, go go retweet this uh, giveaway he's putting out. <laughs> We're gonna never, it. never been opened. Never been opened. See wow, it. I'm going to be in wow. that. I want it. Dust, dust collected. You've literally had a PS5 just sitting there for a year. 
could have resold that for more. <laughs> like people are like fucking killing people Man. for it, and I got it just sitting over here collecting. How'd you get that? I got my I got I got a connection. I got people. Okay. I got I got thing people that fall off the truck. People it's, that work South Jersey. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, They're probably the on the bridge. Well, I'm gonna have to <laughs> enter that giveaway and hopefully win it. Just Mod, mods can't rig it for me. Mods de- unmod me. I'm cool. <laughs> No, mods just for the day at least <laughs> yeah but no I, I never have plans to get a playstation i i never thought to get one honestly like growing up all my friends around xbox that i know from back home so like that was our way to connect and then i didn't want to buy a playstation just to play in tournaments that are playstation only like i'm not going to buy a system just to play the same game that i'm already playing i never felt the need to second tag or do multiple accounts and i understand why people do it it's just not for me yeah i um I, I only got a PS4 because uh, somebody on the LG side on PlayStation got the PS5 and then they just pretty much just sent it to me. So, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll play PlayStation on LG. Yeah, so yeah so let me know who that is. It. I might uh, need a PS5 <laughs> when the PS6 comes out. M, M Reader. There you when go. When the PS6 <laughs> comes out, you're going to be 50 years old. Oh. I'll still be playing till I'm till I can't anymore. Drunk champs only. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> John, how long do you think you'll be playing video games for? Um... Okay, so you think you'll ever stop. I so let's think of it this way. Let's say our parents at 31 were they it's not the same it's world any though. it's a, not yeah. the same world anymore. No, it's not the same world anyway anymore. Mm-hmm. But um uh, timeline wise, like I you see these older guys on here that are playing now so what do you think it's going to be like working? when you say older guys who are you referring to yeah call some names though no i don't know anybody <laughs> that's old i'm just I would, saying i would say I to... us relative to uh a lot of other people right yeah i get yeah I'm 29 I 31 i am like you're what 21 i'm 21 yeah yeah holy shit yeah Oh my God. Yeah, I guess. So I, we're I, the old people. And I, I'm even old nowadays. Them. I'm even old nowadays. You're yeah, yeah, old. right. I was, so I, if I were to, <laughs> you want me to give you a number, I would say 40. But All right, let's, I let's, think more, maybe uh, 40 a plus. Let's say this. If you decide to have kids, aren't you going to play video games with them? Wow. If I decide to have kids, I play with it. I mean, they'll be in meta, they'll be in metaverse by then. Yeah, you wouldn't understand it. They'll be in <laughs> virtual be reality. In, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's uh, true. They'll be in a different world. So, I mean, sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I guess I'll my be... point was I don't think I would ever stop. Obviously, I won't play as much, but I yeah. think they'll always kind of be a part of you. There'll be something because different. it's the competitive nature of it that you get out of it. Not even that. Like, there's going to be a time, like, I've plateaued. There's going to be a time when I just start you know taking a dive and at that point i can be like all right well let's go to the scene's not for me let's go <laughs> to the, mean, like, the casual you, you stuff you mean like you're not going to be going 20 you know no i won't be trying to play in tournaments and make events and i would do it more for the uh camaraderie about, okay. aspect of it and the social stuff but what i don't know if they make an esports league we'll see how old i am at the time but uh time is running out Savvy vet. <laughs> yeah what if they need a coach for an esports yeah, team? That's would, yeah. I, would do. Be, I would be a coach 100 percent. you'd be able I'd to be teach a... everyone all the in and outs how to keep composure you know hey, yeah. i would i would love to be a coach that would be at some that's point. actually serious right they if, actually uh, yeah, have esports coach. coaches right yeah 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 they, they give college scholarships now flyers right? you hear this <laughs> flyers they e-sports. need an esports coach and assistant coach right larson junior flyer <laughs> we'll start it up uh, yeah i know no, i would me, i would no. coach I, like. <laughs> I would be the mascot what's yeah, the th- saying those who can't play teach and those who can't teach coach or something yeah but yeah we know you couldn't play hockey. <laughs> oh dang i did play hockey i just I stopped you know yeah yeah that wasn't good enough but you know you didn't have the cherry picking skills. That he yeah. Has. Yeah. No, if you want the honest truth, I tried to play in college my freshman year and I tried out for the University of Pittsburgh hockey team. Tryouts were at 11 p.m. because oh. the last class I had ends at 10 mm-hmm. and they give you an hour to get over to the stadium and or the arena to uh, get dressed and practice and try out. And then you get back on the bus, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, you get back, shower. Engineering classes start at 8 a.m. So I was getting five hours of sleep freshman year, my first couple of weeks. And I'm like, I got to choose hockey or engineering. And 
I'm yeah, not going to be a hockey player. So I went in my classroom and said my dog ate my homework too. Yeah. I mean, certain athletes get privileges and stuff. There were hockey players that balanced it and did, you know, pre-med and engineering and, and good for them. I, I could not do it. I wanted to focus on school and you have to make those choices in life. And, you know, it was obviously a very good choice to make, but yeah, hockey stopped in college, but I, I obviously, I would like to keep playing at some point in men's leagues, which I did a couple of years, but I think I'm just getting too old that now. Gets tolling. Yeah. My back hurts. I went to the chiropractor today. Like I know I'm old. I was the youngest guy in there too. It's tough. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's yeah. From sitting it's down tough. all day. Yeah. Literally all day. I sit here and I play and I sit here and I work, you know, it's 10, 12 hours a day. Get a comfy chair though. I do have a comfy chair. Yeah. I, I don't know. Work. I got to get up and like move throughout the day, but yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Tough life. Oh yeah. <laughs> you uh, enjoy what you've been you've been doing though recently you, you, the vibes are high oh yeah for me yeah I mean like I said earlier we just got engaged so we're planning mm -hmm. the wedding and stuff so socially we're doing things we're going to the Phillies game tomorrow Lars is actually going as well um so we're I think we'll just meet up at some point throughout the day but um yeah we've been we've been doing all right I mean it's the summertime so you gotta enjoy it a lot of vacations it's over we're, summer's over yeah, well, whatever. We're uh, <laughs> we got a big trip to Vegas coming up in October for my thirtieth birthday. So Let's go. a couple of the the guys from the NHL community are heading out there, along with just some friends of of all of ours. So we got a big Airbnb. So yeah, we've fun. been we've been doing some good things. It just coincides with the uh, release of NHL twenty three. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully yeah. they bring GWC back to Vegas so we can go and. We're going to try to pitch it there. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to make some calls while we're there. See some people. I like that. You got to scout <laughs> yeah. all the area. Oh yeah. That's a joke, right? Yes. It's a joke, man. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool though. It would be cool. Hey, I went 2018 and 2019 to Vegas, but yeah, they, they obviously didn't have it for two years because of COVID and then Montreal, which I'm sure was a great time, but I don't think it compares to, to Vegas. Yeah. No. I, I hope uh, it's somewhere nice. I, I'd like to go to the next one for, for 23. I haven't been to one before, so. Yeah, I would like to just cool. go just to hang out. And, yeah. I mean, I'm going I'm going to make it, but, yeah, I mean. That's you true. Are. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, like, I want to go to hang out. They need a, a 30 and over league for us to oh, compete yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. I think that but would be great. Dude, I mean, dude. You, you got an early birthday, so you're kind of a cheating. cheating I know. Man. I get, like, grandfathered into that – uh. No, Thirty year old in that though, dude. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you played on a you played on hundred and twenty ping for your first game. One hundred forty. I mean, that's not real. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, three that's of the deal. three of the five years I got eliminated on uh, fair connection. I actually that's unplayable. I I got eliminated in uh, twenty twenty against freaking reddick man on 125 Ooh. he's terrible too but like i just can't <laughs> play on it yeah it's tough and that's why every i search any ping the entire year to prepare yeah. myself for it's those games and i still was not prepared it was I've, 50 ms worse than what i've ever played on so you can only prepare so much but yeah it, it's unfortunate you know server base that's another uh, thing that needs to be fixed. head to head it's like that need that is that's ridiculous. You gotta have your own regions. I was joking about the 30-year-old stuff, but you should have like a West that is region, ridiculous. a central region. Yeah, the like Euros are getting all the good like all the good it's packs ridiculous. and stuff too. Like all the time. Yeah. Before they had Canada Wait, what did they get? separated too. Well, Euro, like they pretty much are like twenty to thirty percent of the top hundred, like most of the year in champs, at least like when the games are combined. Um like and they're just getting free rewards because they only like play like each oh. other and like and it's just like they're ahead of us almost all the time. So they're getting that free rewards ridiculous. all year. And then by G GWC when they have to play each other, they're gonna have like a easier team time getting a better team against somebody else without having to spend as much money or whatever. Right. So it's just like there's something it's they need to do. League. It's, yeah. uh, it's kind of like a catch twenty two. Johnny know what a catch twenty two is? Uh, does it have to do with like, like blackjack? You, lo you lose either way or something. <laughs> you lose know. either way. Yeah. yeah so it's like go. damned if you do, damned if you don't. But the argument is if you have separate leaderboards, it's probably more beneficial. But also the community is so small that I, I don't think it's going to matter. 
So it doesn't matter what they do. It's still going to reward those people regardless. Do you guys want leaderboards for rivals? Yeah. I mean, it, it gives you something to play for, even if it's just like, you know why I don't think they do stuff. that? Because it discourages people. It could. I think the, the elite people will see that as like a challenge. But yeah, the majority. Well, are how many gonna... elite people are there? Probably a couple hundred. And how many not elite people are there? Way more. Way more. For sure. I mean, that's why the game appeals to the casual side, yeah, right? Like a lot of the people that. Consume, yeah, money. The people that do podcasts, that do streaming, that are active on social media and go on Twitch, right? Those are the elite, you know, couple hundred people. But there's mm. a far bigger community that doesn't even go oh on God, could you Twitch and things like that, that the game is built to kind of favor Balance, right? with yeah. the marketing and the packs and all that stuff. So it's always a money thing at the end of the day. I don't think they're going to do anything differently, you know, with leaderboards and, and things like that. Although I would like to see it. That was the one change I wanted was just new game modes new things imagine how interesting imagine how crazy nhl like would be if they just had it all free all year like start of 23 it was just a free game it like, would grow nobody, like, nobody could buy packs um i just mean like to get the game yeah so the, the fortnite model they could, oh, okay okay they could yeah, buy all right. packs yeah, yeah all right yeah that's the right. fortnite model right yeah it would definitely be tough but like i think that would be tough. They would make more. They'd make more money. They make more money off packs than the game, I think. So like, I they get more people with, to get the game, and then just do you know how many buy times packs? I purchased the game with packs? <laughs> A bunch. How like, I, well, the number. I let me do the number. Okay. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. But all right. all right, I'll tell you how much money I spend on the game. After wait, wait, I, I don't care. We don't. Wait, what is a what is the price of the game? Uh. Depending on what Nine, you bought, eighty nine maybe if you have ninety, 20% 90 off? US ninety okay. US yeah okay no, that you bought the game twenty times why did you buy so much oh yeah because giveaways and stuff right or no well packs dude I spent all, like yeah but they're not that good no I'm saying like like buying the oh packs, yeah my bad my bad I yeah, bought yeah. the game fifty five yeah. times. <laughs> yeah 55 times i bought so just me bought the game 55 times yeah yeah, yeah. that's crazy I just threw up in my mouth dude that's crazy <laughs> yeah five i, I yeah I, i'm not there I, I barely even spent this year to be honest i probably was only like two to three hundred maybe mm. but it wasn't that yeah, bad I, I spent zero there you as go. always but i See, I, I love pay. that i, I pay like, with my time though yeah yeah you know, See, like I, mean? I put a lot more time did, in the game. That's why I did PlayStation, but I started late. But it's a grind. You, you like you have to dedicate your whole time to that. So much time. Like you're, and then like that's why it's like it. I don't know. Like it, I, I guess I want to like for content want to do that again and put the money on Xbox because I think people for some reason like free to play. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do like day one, $1,000 on Xbox and $1,000 on PlayStation. I don't know. But I don't know because I know that sounds crazy and ridiculous. But <laughs> I never got the point in buying packs right away because there's no good players that are out there besides your three or four guys, right? Content. So, and I not think, only, not I only that. That's better early though. Like you not said. only that, when I did it last year, I, like I'm opening base packs. Yeah, I'm sitting there for eight hours opening base packs. Like that's what do you get out of that? I was sitting there for eight hours doing squad battles. <laughs> right, but I'm and saying, end up like, getting better cards. <laughs> like that's that's the, that's the de- that's the thing that I need to figure out. Like, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna do that again? Do you guys want to see me sit there for eight hours opening base packs? Some I don't, do. but people do. Yeah, right. But like, you definitely got to like. Just buy the promo packs if you yeah, are, and then stop. Thinking. Just like cut it there. Then next day when they add more or something. Right, right, exactly. At least but your money's making like a little worth. You're stretching it. Of, yeah, you're stretching it. But I mean, but still, some like, freaks, some freaks like that. Well, mm. I don't know, freaks. I mean, just like I don't know. It, it's <laughs> it, it's like it, eight hours. I sat there opening base packs but who could you get out of that at that at that point of the game who can you get mcdavid and can you get anybody can you get lemieux? lemieux and that's it there's like 
four yeah, or five guys. Can you get them in those packs? I'm pretty what, sure you can. What probably or at least you can talking? get the you really people did it for the team builders, right? They wanted to mm-hmm. get just a mass quantity of people true. that they could trade That's in. That's true. That's true. I didn't and that makes that. sense. But again, like if you play the game over time, you're eventually going to get them. And like all of like a free to play player, if they put their time in, will eventually catch up to the person Correct. that puts all their money yeah. in initially. That's just and like it, MLB. And it takes three, four months, like for me to get a good team. But by the time tournaments and GWC come around, like we both have the same team and I just have a lot more money in my pockets at the end of the day. Cause I didn't right. spend money, but. So it, day one, well, we don't know what it's going to be like because how they may change it up. But like, so day one, if I put a thousand dollars in, I'm working towards the team builder, but the team builder doesn't come. Does the team builder come out right away? No. You have like, like Bush league team builder. You have like, remember you have like the 88 John LeClaire. You yeah. have like the Michael Pekka. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They're the bad yeah. cars. The other they're thing like, is if you don't even play online initially, Right. If you're just offline doing squad battles, challenges, whatever, do you even need to put money into the game? Because you're playing the computer. It should be pretty easy. So what's the point in getting a good team just to play the computer right away? Well, most people there, there's actually a big community of people with like nine, nine teams that still won't play online. So I don't know. I, they enjoy just building it. the yeah. team without playing online. Yeah. And, and that's OK. Yeah. My buddy does that. My buddy does that. And his team like was better than mine and i put money into the i was putting crazy amounts in, and even cj too same same example cj's team's probably better than mine and i put a million dollars in so it, it it's weird the way it, it's weird the way it works yeah i mean at least at least uh you can do it without spending money it's a lot harder but at least it's possible <laughs> i mean it's less fun too that yeah way. i think yeah. we live in a world of instant gratification right yeah, we want that right. like now instant good team even your bets today right in the first <laughs> inning we don't want to bet the whole yeah, game. Right. we just want to bet the first inning <laughs> yeah. and get our money we want yeah. to play blackjack roulette we just want one hand one spin show me the 100%. money it's the same thing in opening packs what? we just want to get everything handed to us and mm. that's also, not the way it works sometimes. also the way i look at it is because the game gets stale there's not a lot to do me putting money in and using a player I've never used is excitement for me, which sucks, but that's just to keep the game relevant and keep the game going for me personally, yeah, just like that, you started a flyers team because you got bored. Exactly. And it, it's more fun for me that way. Right. I, I did my 20 and O's. I don't have to prove everything. I want to give myself a challenge and use right. a lesser team with guys that I like and watch growing up and, you know, if I do well, great. If not, well, at least I had fun trying. Hopefully they add um, another side, uh, the GM connected. That's fun. Like to play with yeah. your friends. That, like, yeah. I don't I don't know if they have – that wasn't a hut thing, right? That was like – No, it was, it was like team. more of a franchise mode type yeah, of thing. Yeah, franchise yeah. mode, but you got to, like, manage your team, make yep. trades, and fucking play against each other, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be – it's like a fantasy draft, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's cool. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Isn't these things so simple? Uh, yeah, it's a simple concept, but like from a, I don't know. I, I always try to think of it realistically, and with COVID and budget cuts, EA probably doesn't have the group of people that they want operating. It's a smaller market when it comes to EA sports games, and they probably don't get the funding necessary to create a lot of those things that they want. So I, I think that's where it stems from, that maybe well, people don't understand the business side of it. Okay, well, let me speak the business side. Do you think they don't do that to keep everybody playing hut to spend money? I'm sure there's reasons why, but if because they're Because obviously making, that would add another game mode for people not to play hut. Yeah, if they're making a lot of money already and it's a smaller market game, why would they put their time and resources into that right. if- the and gains aren't that significant as opposed to something maker. else. Yeah. So I, I get it from like the business and logistical and logical side of it. I don't think we see it that way because we're consumers and we yeah. want the benefits, but I don't know. Once you get older and you work and you, you start understanding the bigger picture, it, it kind of all makes sense. Well, it's unfortunate, it, but they're going to, but at some point they're going to have to compete with other games that are making moves and changes like that. Yeah, they will. But I think 
everyone who watches these and is part of the community, we're all going to buy the game next year, no, regardless 100%. of what we say. I'm going right? to buy it so, 55 times again. <laughs> maybe a little less, but yeah, that's the point I'm trying <laughs> to make more. is we're all going to get the game, regardless of how good it is, what yeah, game they modes got, are in the it. Balls. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, and that's okay. And I think they and understand they know that. that. Yeah, like, they know that's that. my point. So why do they need to change anything? To get in um, new consumers, right? Yeah, it's right? Sad, but right? That's well, the sad, numbers, sad. the numbers went down. I feel like so maybe I don't know. Maybe they I look think, at that. I, I mean, people say this, and this is what I hear: the crossplay yeah. thing. You think they're gonna? I, I, are they gonna? Are they going to lose people with not having crossplay? Do you believe that? I'm um, asking. I don't. I'm not sure about this year. Are you? You think people are going to stick to their guns? Maybe I I don't know. There's a lot of uh, not does that as change much. your does that change your mind at all? Not me personally. You're still gonna get it, the, right? No the casual what. player, maybe like that wants to play with a person that doesn't have the the old Xbox. Like it's only a small group of people. Yeah. But like maybe it's like if they if they can't play with them, they won't, they won't get it. But I'm not 100 percent sure. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna alter me whatsoever. But yeah. It is ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. No. Yeah. But. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. What's your prediction? You think they'll they'll either cross play? Not like how yeah, everybody I wants it. I think there'll be some sort of cross play, but it's going to either be just Xbox to Xbox, PlayStation, PlayStation, or the market's going to be one or two markets. It's not going to be four separate ones, but I don't think you're going to see Xbox and PlayStation crossover. If there is, more power that's to ground, them, but... That's groundbreaking. Yeah. That's always always go in with low expectations that way you're not hurt when you know things don't go your way but the, i don't the, expect it the bad sign is that what is their biggest money game we're gonna say madden right mm, they, FIFA, i have no idea is it fifa yeah okay Probably FIFA that's because that's worldwide yeah. and everybody plays it but next year they're losing their rights fifa right exactly that. okay so yeah yeah i do remember saying so yeah. what it, so is FIFA crossplay, right? Uh I believe so. Like no not not like full like crossplay, but I think it's like new gen and new gen, like f- like Xbox Five and or Xbox. Xbox. Okay, okay. <laughs> Xbox so that's that's good enough. But like, I could be wrong. We sh- like the old gen system shouldn't even be relevant anymore. Nobody yeah. should be on that. Everybody should find a way to get the new one. But um if Madden didn't do it. That's yeah. a bad, that's kind of a bad sign because NHL is probably the lowest on the totem pole of all the EA games, right? Yeah. So that's a little alarming. Yeah, I, I think um I think they said that they would add it for Madden in December. I could be wrong though. That's big. I mean, that's but, big. Yeah, if there's there can be limit. updates in the middle of the year, that's yeah. groundbreaking. But again, I don't think NHL no. is gonna do anything like that. I like well they did it with the uh the the changing over your your team over to in December last year, which they is kind of cool. And that was surprising, but I think they announced yeah. that at the very beginning. So True. I'll be curious to see if we see some sort of announcement like that. But yeah, that was definitely that's definitely more than I thought they would do. <laughs> who we who yeah. we betting on cover athlete? Mad Zagris. Gotta be Trevor, yeah. Yeah, I um, think I think it's I tweet I it's Crosby. It's got. I, Crosby. I just think there's so much to, <laughs> that like proves that it's Zegers out of what we've saw. Yeah, but... I mean, he looks like he would be like the marketing guy. Like that yeah. would be a marketing thing because all the kids like him. Like woo. I mean, that's good like, though. Like everyone they appeal to the younger people, crowd. Yeah, yeah, right. A lot of people got into hockey because they saw those like yeah, right, right. And stuff. So. I, we all know who it should be. Kel McCarr. Kel McCarr. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was just making sure. I was why? Really... <laughs> why do you think? I want to know. I want to hear why. Because he likes broccoli. I mean, Stanley <laughs> Cup. <laughs> why not Randy? Best player on the team. Why not McKinnon? If you want to say that. I just I mean, think Kel McCarr. Didn't he win Consmite? I feel like Kale deserved it the most. I don't know. Better than McCarr? Um, I, mean, I mean, he's better than McKinnon. I want. I don't know. If, like, it's different, different positions. Yeah, 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 but like, still though. Like, different I would positions. see Kale over McKinnon, but I'd be happy with both. I mean, either one, just yeah. Stanley Cup champ. You know, I don't know. I don't know who why they did Matthews defensive? two years in a row, but <laughs> who picks defense? Maybe, maybe it'll be <laughs> Matthews defense? again. Yeah. Should, be tr- should be Should be. Should be. Oh yeah, he was on the cover. <laughs> I have no idea why, but there he was. <laughs> but so, wait, so Crosby's never been on the cover, right? 
he hasn't wanted to, right? Like he's like he's superstitious. Like all right, yeah. He, I mean, it's his. It's kind of his time, don't you think? I feel like it's last year. He should, like whenever he was like, he's yeah, feeling, like, like I mean, up, just like at least a couple on. more, a couple more dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he needs. I it. don't even know why it matters because we all buy the digital copy anyway, so we don't even get to see the cover. But, I, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. You get to see the logo, but whatever. The background. It actually um, is so big. Like, I'm out of people that care about the cover. <laughs> yo, uh, they, they, let me add this in. They need to add a server in New York. Yes. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is the biggest city in the world. Why isn't there a server a there? <laughs> New York City, city, <laughs> the, you know what I'm saying. <sighs> they need a server there. I'm not happy with it. Yeah. Uh, I'm that. serious. It, 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 why isn't there one there? And what there's not one. Florida doesn't have one either. Yeah. I, they I got bad know. internet. Like that is really bad. Like, yeah. Well, I don't know. I would say New York. What would, what would, they would still play on Virginia regardless, right? Yeah. They're sort of But now they need like New York. Like, how isn't there one in New York? I'm in upstate New York. And my best server isn't even Quebec or East. It's Central, which is just doesn't make any sense. You probably <laughs> get pretty similar to all three, though. Yeah, I get like 35 on Central and like 41 on each of the other two, yeah. which is not bad. But like, I mean, just weird. That's fine. I mean, yeah. you I don't can't have notice complaints. the five MS yeah. differences. No, that's pretty good. At least you're playing different people. A lot of guys like. Yeah, like my search times aren't bad because I play all three. Do you set yeah. your ping? Um, I think sometimes if, if, um, sometimes if I don't want to match some QCs or whatever, if, so, cause it's a little bit higher, I think it's like 43 and then they have like eight. So, I mean, it's a, a little bit of a difference. Sometimes I do like just East and central. What number would you say is mo- like where the lines cross, where like it's ridiculous after 50, um, 40, it depends. Like, what is the other person on? If, if we're both on like. Oh, I don't, I care, don't about care about the other person. I only care about my ping. Well, if if it's like peer to peer, then it, it, it little it matters a little bit. Like if it's um South Central or whatever, and we're both playing on the South Central, it's not that big of a deal. But if I'm on like 55 or whatever, and they're under 10 in South Central, I want yeah, play that's, that. that's fucky. But like if we're both on like 56 or something like that, it it, it feels good. I think I think uh like 60 65. I mean, it's still not bad, but I think that's what you turns start yellow. What, what's yellow bar? What's seventy, fair? maybe. I don't 70? know. Seventy. I think it's sixty-five or seventy. Yeah. Oh. That's that's when you lose like, your mind. That's <laughs> well, I'm, uh, it's unplayable. It's it, it's not fair. It's a different game. No. Yeah. It really is. If it does and, feel different, you got to be so much quicker with the puck. <laughs> you. you the thing like you're the things you were doing you can't do because it's a delayed reaction to everything yeah. and then when you're in the hundreds it's just might as well just play a one four one four one three one yeah or one four one of my buddies was um scrimming uh eus for stuff for stuff like that and uh he was like playing money games against them and <laughs> they, they just play so much slower than us uh, like, he was they- losing his mind they're both on like one one sixty ping, so it's just like it was. I don't know how why we do that. I, do they rag? Awful. Um, it's like ragging for us, but like it's yeah, normal right. hockey. Yeah, like yeah, they, yeah, they they make sure they're not losing the puck on their entrance. It's like soccer. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I mean, it's smart hockey at the end of the day. I mean, it's just funny how different regions play. Yeah, different like styles. I would be ag- so aggravated. Yeah. We're all we're running gone. Yeah, I um, the IIHF tournament or whatever that they had that was all different countries. I didn't watch like other countries really. I just watched like U.S. and Canada to be honest. And when they played a a little bit against the people, I watched. But I want I wonder if there's a big difference between each European country or if, or in like Finland and like Sweden, like if they're any different. Like or, they adjust to playing the way we play. Yeah, like I wonder what. Well, I would what, feel like what different stuff they've been doing. That wouldn't work in real life. I feel like the running gun would probably prevail. Yeah. Who knows? All right, you we're I mean? we're reaching another minute down. Um, just let you know. We could talk a little bit more. We can mm-hmm. end it here for for now, and then start up a new one. Up to you. 
Yeah, I'm I'm good. Ending right. it now. That's fine. Right. Sounds right. good. Whatever you right, guys want. Out of time. That's fine. All right. All right. Did you make that up? No, there's actually a YouTube video that that's 10 sec or like a minute long, and it was it, it was. I um, need I need yeah. link. Um, I need link. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll, I'll send it. Somebody see who uploaded word. that and uh, send him a nice thank you note. Um, yeah, they had this thing back in the old NHL days. It was like it was EA forum. So you didn't have discord. It was just a forums and people would create, you know, top players and, and things like that. And I technically was the number one game breaker, whatever that means based on the community. And I guess I was on a team with uh, not very skilled people, but back then you could actually carry a team as an individual. Um, and I was infamous for my blue line deeks to gain zone entries because a lot of people would just sag back with five guys. So I guess yeah. I was able to uh, dangle my way in for that team back then. But that's good to know. Wow. I should, I gotta, you were tampering? I got to put that on the wall back there. I've been saving a spot. Best dangler. All right. Hey, get rid of the diploma and put that up there. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's like the opposite uh, style that you, you run now. Which is, it was just crazy to, to hear that. Yeah, I, I was definitely more of an individual player back in the day, and I think it just was the team I was on I had to be, but now there's so much emphasis on chemistry, and you see all these Omaha plays and defensemen calling out neutral zone cuts. Like, that stuff did not exist. It was really just one guy, give it to your best player, and kind of ISO and let him do his thing. Um, so, yeah, the game's definitely changed over the years of playing, but, yeah, I do remember being one of those guys that kind of just wanted the puck and was able to kind of finagle my way to the net kind of at will back then. Yeah. The, this is um, for sixes, right? Yeah. 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 It, it had a couple of nominations. I don't remember the, the, uh, the third one, but it, the other one was the figs. The figs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he was that's, also why I, that's why I won it. So yeah. you, you can <laughs> have a, that over him now, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a couple of French guys back in the day on legends. Never Hello. I am TJ and welcome to the NHL 10 awards. I am the co-host for the NHL 10 awards. The awards following are the best dangler award, the best six versus 16 award, 1v1 versus award, the goal trader award, the nerd award, the 2v2 award, EASHL award, and goalie award. First for the best dangler award the nominees are CJ1, 4, 2, the MVP 24, and the figs 42. The winner is CJ1, 4, 2 for the second consecutive year. Congratulations, CJ, for the first ESHL milestone. Now for the best six versus six team award, the nominees are Shammers United, Dream Killers. I was the team. It was like Jiz Noel, Prince Sumo. There's a, a lot of guys. Um, if you ever ask Odie or Paralyzer, they were two of the more prominent guys back then that still play now. I really don't think there's any other names that I can think of off the top of my head that played, but those guys would know some of the, the best ones back I then. I know one. Well, at least... He wasn't as big as everyone else, but uh, the call me net or nitro he used to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, call he, me he's, net. He's my boy. He's 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 been around for a while. Yeah, he has. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah. Uh, they also said something about uh Jimmy Dangles or whatever. He, he won Lieutenant the, Jim Dangle nine. Yeah, he, he was the the best versus player then, I guess. Yeah. Fun fact about him: he played going down screen. Really. The time. Yeah. <laughs> that is some freak shit. That's what he wow. says. Do we really know if he did? And a controller upside down too, or what? I don't know what he did, but yeah, he was uh, the epitome of a puck hog. But he was he was very good. Um, he played going down screen. Shit. Yeah, right. wild, huh? Yeah, that is pretty wild. Like I don't even know how that, that is happens. Some freako shit. I actually yeah. um, there I met someone a couple of years ago who played goalie with a mouse and keyboard. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. I, oh wait, I heard. NHL 23 is on PC. Where'd you hear that? <laughs> and yeah, virtual seriously. reality, right? That would be cool. <laughs> how would that how would that even work? Uh, I don't nah. know. Wouldn't. <laughs> Not well. Plug your controller into your can computer. Yep. Set it up. <laughs> no way. It would never work. I need that link though. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely send it. Um I, uh, if I could figure out how to play it. Um and the and the the video I'll just put it in the video too so it'll, it'll, uh, it'll go to that. I, you, I used to upload just download pic, the YouTube. I used to video upload videos from my phone. Yeah. And put them on. I bet you could find those. <laughs> Did, uh, type in my gamer tag. You've yeah. seen that? You've seen that video of me and 
playing hut in my college dorm room where I freaked out. Uh, probably, yeah. You I freaked out I've a lot, it. though. So. It's on your yeah, TikTok? No, this is like my Ooh. roommate was recording it. It was 2010. Wow. Hut, hut in 2010 when you used to have plus nine skater. Oh. No way! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I take your time out here. You think? Yes! Yes! Fucker! Yes! Fuck! Yes! Yes! Fucking right, motherfucker! Yes! So you could use anybody then. Just yeah. jack everybody up. You you weren't around for that. Uh, a bit, but yeah, not 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 that one. No, that that. I, was I remember was... like giving when you give them someone like, like a captain, you get like plus four and assistant or whatever. Uh, but... Yeah, this was like but, plus like nine that, skater. Plus, yeah. you remember that game? The Were worst you... thing was contracts. Oh, oh that God. yeah, that was funny too. Yeah. That's you a scam, to... but that's a scam thing. You have to buy to... contracts just to put them on guys to keep them on your team. That they was just... a marketing scam. They just Horrible. changed that recently too. It, it, it was a scam years for a while. Ago, yeah, yeah, that was that was a scam tactic. No. They won every time. In FIFA previous years, like, you literally couldn't even play the game, like, consistently because you needed to do fitness, you needed to do contracts. Like, you couldn't even ever get a new player on your team because you're already down to zero unless you're spending money. Yeah, no bueno. Yeah, that that was awful. Um, Another thing is uh, just a a light thing. Uh, GWC23, who's your prediction to win it just now? Whoever, just a random person that you – so we can look back to see if you're right. I'm still saying Rex. He's been the best player consistently. I mean, I'm saying Pogues because he's going to be mad about his finish here. You know, he's going to grind even more. The, we'll go with that. The, the way Regs plays is so aggravating. And it's it's so hard to, like, one mistake you mm. make and he scores because he holds the puck. Yeah. So the minute you go out of position, he's going to score. I hate this. I don't like, cause you said that I hate like taking the same thing as you. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with. Uh, plus, plus a thousand odds. I'm going that. with uh, Cameron Halbert, no sleeves. Nice. Wow. I like that one too. What's his I'm odds going, looking like? I'm going with no sleeves this year. <laughs> Got to have some pretty juicy odds there. Yeah. That's, that's my pick. All right, I, I, I like it. it. Not even Henrique. You're wearing the shirt. True. Wow. Got to go with no sleeves. Henrique top 16, though? Top 10. Okay. Top 10. That's so respectable. Strong. Yeah. What about you? What about you? Where are you finishing? Uh, I think I get past the first round of 32. You think you make it? Yeah. Yeah. And – I and then pass and win round. one round wow. and win the first round strong and i think i'm gonna play josh wait no josh is done right we'll probably do better than josh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh i don't know then but well, josh yeah. will probably play on someone's account though <laughs> yeah well let's let's i uh, let's ask about i that. like josh though do you think that they, do you think they all get reinstated he um, says no I say yes. I don't what know. Do you, you, you don't think? You don't I, think? I don't think no. <laughs> I wish. No. I wish they did. Some I mean, are some I, of the best players in the yeah. world. They should have the ability to play, but it, uh, the precedent uh, is guys that have been banned have not come back. So yeah, is that true? that's fact. Yeah, guys that have been banned before haven't played. I think. And how, um, how bad are we talking? How bad was like, their like, like ban? Yeah, like how bad were we like? Yeah, 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, to me, like it's not bad to me, but from a, like an integrity standpoint or maybe uh terms of service, they probably said some things or did some things that are inexcusable, but honestly, a lot of the community does and probably doesn't get caught. I think it's just, there are some of the bigger names in the now, community the, and now people me, like to stir it up. And if, you know, let me ask wrong, you this question. Does your 16 year old brain work the same way as when you were 21 years old as to your 21 year old to your 30 year old brain? Yeah. I mean, you're probably asking the one guy who <laughs> you shouldn't be asking, but like, I didn't even curse when I was 16 years old and oh, I probably on. had the nicest messages in my DM. So I, I was not one like that. I don't think I ever said anything. I never had to go back in my tweet history and delete things out, but I'm sure the normal person has said and done things that they regret and wish they could take back, whether they were 16, 18, 21. And, you know, you learn from that, you know, I think everyone should get a second chance or a pass, you know, I, I, I don't know. Even like a video call with that, like just talking to them a couple of times, like yeah. to see if they've changed as a person, if they seem like they have their head on, that, on straight. Or like, like, I think it needs to be more proofed like need more and like more stuff to it because yeah. I mean the the poor people some of them didn't even know why or when or how yeah. or what or They're the same I mean, if you're 16 years old and you're now 23 like yeah. that's crazy you don't even remember you don't even think the same way you don't even maturity levels are way different so I mean that kind of yeah. stuff it's it's not fair but at the end of the day right it's a free tournament there are certain things you can and can't do. And if you break those rules or say certain things, like you should be punished for it. Um, it's kind of difficult because people that are wronged or, or maybe feel um, inferior to some of those bigger names, you know, kind of create this uh, way to get back at them through sending in messages or things like that, which is not right, even fabricating at a time. So it's unfortunate that that kind of culture still exists but i wish those guys get another chance because they're some of the best players like i said right yeah i mean but not only that when you agree to terms are you agreeing at an 18 year old level as an adult or are you agreeing as a 16 year old yeah what I mean, are you it, agreeing as yeah, yeah i mean you shouldn't be I'm punished getting technical. for things that you've done in the past necessarily but if you're going to be representing the game and the brand and in front of a live, you know, audience and doing media things like they don't want to put someone out there who could potentially say or do something like they've done previously. So I, again, the business side, I totally get why they have to do it. They have to set the example, set the precedent and kind of stick with that. So if you do something similar moving forward, you should get the same punishment. Agreed. As those guys. Okay. I could agree with that. I could agree with that. Yeah. Uh, but so like you're, you're Oh, you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Um. So yeah, you're, like you're saying, when every single person that got banned or, or something, it was the same exact message for every single person. You're right. Like there was like literally nothing explaining, and then it's impossible for them to get a hold of the. People. Right. That's that's not right. Yeah. It should be definitely like due process, like because the, because on the other side of there's people that are putting money into this game mm -hmm. to get to that point. So they like if I put in all that money. It, I don't know I said anything or not, regardless, I would at least, maybe I shouldn't have said something hypo, I'm, more hypothetical. I say something that I shouldn't have said. I want an explanation for it. If I put in all this money into the game, yeah. I better get an explanation for why I'm not playing in this tournament. Three days before the tournament. <laughs> right. I want, an, I want a full explanation. I want to talk to somebody. I want them to explain to me, okay, you did this wrong. You did that wrong. Okay, that's cool. Whatever, depending on this serenities yeah. or severity whatever the word is serenities severity <laughs> you know what I'm severity saying. yeah severity of it <laughs> yeah. i want to know because we're putting in money into the game yeah no I agree. does that not make sense that's a good point i agree all right i don't know i mean <laughs> yeah i'm only speaking because i put in a million so i'd be really pissed if that happened but not millions know. just 55 times yeah but game. i don't yeah. i mean i don't mm don't say anything besides just say stupid stuff to people or just if you're going to talk shit you don't even need to talk shit like just put a clown emoji that's all you really need nowadays you know what i mean yeah one day i'm just going to release all the messages i have in my inbox from the 12 years of playing 
all the nice ones. My, my, I, oh, my, they're very nice. I'm, <laughs> mine is funny now. Mine, mine just I I have like a group of them that I'm trying to save for a stream. Like mm-hmm. how they have mean tweets. I want to go down and read all my messages. Yeah. At some point when I, I wanted to build, maybe I'll build it another year because <laughs> it'll just be, you're a loser. You spend money and blah, blah, blah. So it's just funny. That'd be good content. Yeah. It'd be great there you stuff. Go. I have it saved up. I got yeah. I got, I got a bank for it. Yeah, for That's both awesome. games, MLB and NHL, or you combine all of them? Yeah. Yeah. Might as yeah. well. I mean, MLB, nobody. They don't really, really say anything. Yeah. Yeah. NA, NHL, <laughs> just because they know the, yeah, as, I spent a million. Team's call so you a good. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, your team's good. Yeah, the beginning of the year stuff. Yeah. And then I like messing with people. Like they'll ask, like people will ask me how much you spend, and then I'll say like fifty five thousand, <laughs> something crazy, and then I'll just keep going with it and going with it and going with it. Yeah, I had but to yeah. take a loan out of the bank. Yeah, like I yeah, <laughs> shit like that. I've said that before. I've seen, I've spent the I've maxed my credit cards out. Skip dinner. Lean on house. I've said before. <laughs> All right. Some little kids believe it. Yeah. <laughs> what if they're? What if it was true though? <laughs> I I tried messing with him. before I knew Cam. I tried Did messing you? with him. Yeah. True. How'd that yeah. go for you? I think it, it, to my knowledge, it worked, and I I got a kick out of it. But I couldn't tell because of the way you are that if you knew I was messing with you, but in the beginning you didn't, but then at the end you did. <laughs> I figured it out pretty quick, but I just found yeah. it. <laughs> I respect it. When, when did you guys first meet? Like, uh, like a, I guess a little bit officially, like a uh, little bit. Uh, I was trying to think. I, I guess last I, we played last, like last year, we played against each other and sent some messages. And then I think when, when you started streaming and popping in to my stream, and then I popped into yours, and we realized we both lived in Philly and kind of like the same things with. Philly sports and gambling and we're both kind of the same age and you know we met a couple times down at the Flyers game which was awesome John hooked us up with sweet tickets and That's we cool. had a really good time the Flyers won one of their only wins last year so yeah we've uh, been able to take this and you know develop a friendship you know outside of uh, gaming which is pretty cool and I think that's what a lot of people should be doing yeah, is yeah, trying definitely. to make those friends and kind of take this away and you know I encourage people to meet up and hang out as much as possible because that's pretty cool to you know make some friends from like even you like would it like if we could meet at a fucking rangers game or like a devil game or something like that that would be cool that's cool no i I definitely agree i think more people should be doing that for sure um i think recently more people have been doing it like yeah. Benny's Benny's been traveling to like all over the place with his yeah. family and stuff like yeah. that, and like other people for like certain tournaments and stuff like that. But yeah, it definitely should be like um obviously there needs to be more tournaments and stuff like that for like two to like me. But in general, even if there's not just like a hockey game, like I don't know. Yeah, just to meet up. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. why GWC like they get rid of all these restrictions and shit, mm-hmm. and everybody would go and be cool and meet everybody, which would be cool. Yeah, I guess it was difficult because it was like in Canada and COVID yeah. and stuff like that too. So yeah, so if yeah, it was in yeah. US, maybe next year. Yeah, open it Vegas. up to everyone. <laughs> Vegas would be sick. No, yeah. I hope. Cross your fingers. A whole stadium. Are you, you going to be streaming like this year? I would like to. Um, it's just my my internet's not the greatest. Mm. So when I play like games, like I'm not as competitive while streaming, and it kind of rattles me. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it, cause the ping is a little bit worse, but if, if it, if it is not so bad, then maybe I'll, I'll try to do it here and there for sure. Yeah. Is it like a college dorm? Uh, I'm in my house right now, but your house. Okay. Yeah. Are you on it, Wi-Fi? No, oh, Ethernet not for say. sure. Jeez. It, it's like, it's manageable. Like, but it, it, you can tell a little bit of input delay, especially when you're trying to go against like the best players or whatever. I played on Wi-Fi up until last year. Why? I also okay. played on a 55 inch TV up until last year. It's actually Crazy. absurd how many people still play on TVs, though. Like, it's yeah. it's more wow. people that play on TVs, I, I swear. That's wild. Yeah, I never had a setup. My yeah. router was always somewhere, like, blocked in that I couldn't get a monitor there. So I had to play on Wi-Fi, and I just played on a big-ass TV in my living room on a little lawn chair. I got pictures I'll send you. But it's, it. ever since I started streaming is the first time that I actually played on a monitor and at a desk and 
Yeah. And, uh, you're like you're the connection. best back then with the with your I, I Xbox like, on the Oh yeah. The chair. I, have, I, have my own, I have my own place. <laughs> so like I have it all set up like the way I want it with everything the best. And yep. as of like like yesterday, when me and Cam were playing, and this happened last year, and it was so weird, and I don't know what it is. When I like go balls to the wall on my controller, like go really hard, I lag out. And it was happening what? a lot last year. It sounds weird. I made fucking Comcast technician come out here and run a whole brand new wire through the whole house because it was all fucking me. It did it yesterday. It didn't do it today. It's it's so weird and odd. Were you not I mean, going balls to the wall today when we played that? <laughs> no, we we I was. That's why I'm saying it worked. It's fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Fixed. There you go. But oh, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Could it be NHL server stuff? I think it's just a one-off scenario. You what haven't played out all year except for last night. It happened, but I was going to say, same time last year, it happened the same time. I mean, a couple of things have happened to me like that before. Like, um, even mm-hmm. even uh, this year, I, I put it up on TikTok. There's a, I, had a, I was playing a versus game, and Pat Maroon had such a big hit, it just froze the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like I was going so hard on my controller. Certain poke <laughs> checks, if they hit a certain direction when they like teleport the puck, sometimes that breaks the game that. too. TikTok, like, yeah, yeah. But, some weird things happen for sure. I mean, it doesn't happen as much, I guess. The amount we play, like it, if it happens to us a couple of times, and it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah. But, um, what is your guys' uh, favorite favorite uh, NHL that you guys played? Just in general, it doesn't have to be like skill your highest skill level or whatever just the, the one you had the most okay. fun i think for me man was nhl 10 and the reason why is i was big in the sixes and it was so competitive that people didn't leave teams you play with the same guys the entire year there was a leaderboards and different things you could play i think there were some tournaments i know in nhl 9 there was but i think nhl 10 had some as well but you didn't see guys flip-flopping teams or anything like that. And I think now guys, when they lose, they're the first to jump ship or point the finger. And you see the top teams kind of tournament after tournament grind it out and stay consistent within their teams. But NHL 10, there was a lot of uh, very competitive sixes teams that stayed together, which made it a lot more fun because it breeds competition and could see that excitement every time you play. I, yeah, it's definitely like, I feel like it's more uh, emotional when you're with the same like group for a certain amount of years. Like it's more like personal type of thing. Like you guys are close, like family almost. Like yeah, when I, sure. I like playing LG, like and you get traded three times. That's not fun. Three's a good it's, number for me. It's, <laughs> it's it's demoralizing. Number one, number two. It's like you just played with this person, this team. Mm-hmm. You're gonna build chemistry, blah 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 blah, and then you get traded, and then you get traded, and then you get traded, and then what is that? That is that fun? Like, there's uh, that's so stupid. Huh. But uh, I guess my favorite NHL would be the one with Giroux on it. Which 13. one was that? Thirteen, I think. Yeah, that one. Well, thirteen. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. I only remember because I, I waited outside GameStop in my Flyers jersey. I did that too. <laughs> that's where that's I met. Like... I met Kesso. Uh, really? Line, but he he messaged me after. He goes, "Hey, were you in like a Flyers jersey?" I was like, "Yeah, why?" He's like, "I saw you." I was like, "Why didn't you say anything?" Yeah, I was that gonna was, have uh, him ten at the years bar. ago. And then I saw him at the bar two years later randomly. That's how that's, we became that's friends. A good story. Yeah, that's a great I, story. I was gonna. He, he's gonna be on one of them soon. He's just. Uh, I think he's having a kid. Yes, um, he is. He's so a little bit busy. He's right a now. little busy for sure. Yeah. Um. So whenever NHL comes out and he'll be grinding, he'll be on one of them for sure. He's, there you go. He's been nice to me. He's a great guy. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. Great. Um, one more question here. What What is your best gambling uh, story? Since you guys are big gamblers here, we want to hear some crazy things that went on. I think I think it's better for like the the the, the bad stories or like the the negative stories i think those are yeah. more entertaining all right, so, I'll, um, I'll tell one john's yeah, probably got so many yeah, i know i'm trying it. like the, the best one i had i have two. are we talking bad beats um what, whatever you think is the most entertaining that people want to hear i guess so w- this was gwc 2018 i believe in vegas <laughs> so i was there supporting uh john wayne and pens and I got to meet up with a bunch of the other guys. No Sleeves, I think, was there. A couple other guys. It's yep. been 2019. But in any event, we're all playing roulette. And we're all playing, you know, 
15, 20, $25 hands, we're usually betting red and junior pens is constantly betting against us and we just keep winning and he keeps losing. And so we're having some good banter back and forth and there yep. starts to get a crowd around us because we're doing pretty well. And now come these five dudes. They're all pretty big. I think they're European. They have some accents. And this guy takes two $100 chips, puts one on the number two, puts one on the number four. Wow. And we all just kind of like look up and we're like $200, like just on two different numbers. Like there's yeah. 38 numbers. He has a one in 19 chance. We're like, yeah. whatever. So we do our little bets and the it goes around and of course it lands on two. <laughs> you know, this guy doesn't say a word. Wow. His buddies just look and they're like, again and i'm like oh my so a hundred dollars on the number two wins about 3500 bucks wow which is insane uh, that's, money that's to huge. anybody yeah right so they just leave the two 100 chips on the number two and the number oh, four no. again goes does not hit we're like all right okay. thank god takes his money reaches down he's got like a ten thousand dollar watch on just takes it and leaves in a matter of five minutes, these guys don't say a word. They win 3,500 bucks, and we're all just like, all right, I guess this is Vegas. So that was like our wake up call, but yeah. um, that's a pretty good story because I didn't think anyone would ever win that much money or even have the balls to just put $200 like it's nothing just on the table. So that was, that was a good story. I, that would have been funny to watch. So, yeah, insane. So mine's is, mine's is bad, but good. So, in 20 the eagles won the super bowl in 2018 right 17 right okay whatever <laughs> so he doesn't was, even know whoa no it should be 2018, yeah, should be 2018. i don't have my glasses on 2018. Oh, okay. 2018 i was taking bets from people locally around me and they had future bets like hmm. you know how futures work yeah so i mean the long story short, it ended up me owing everybody 40 grand, but the Eagles won. So I was numb, but the Eagles won. So uh, what uh, kind of bet were you doing to make sure you future? Lose? I was doing future bets because I was like, there's no way they're going to fucking win. So I was like, this is free money, but I was, and I didn't hedge. That's crazy. So I ended up owing 40 grand. May or may not have to take a loan out, but the Eagles won the Super Bowl. And that was good enough for me because I really didn't. It is bad, but good. But yeah, it's bad, bad, but good. I mean, I could sit here for days and give you bad bets, yeah. bad beats. <laughs> yeah, they happen all the time. Uh, I, get, I could sit here for days with that. But I mean, that's like the ultimate thing because people still ask me today, like, yeah. What did you do for the Super Bowl? Like, that's... and I was like, well, the Eagles won. So I guess that's cool. I, I, I'll take that over anything. Do you emotionally cool. hedge? Do I emotionally like hedge? Like, if the Eagles are in the Super Bowl and they're playing the Patriots or whatever, do you bet on the Patriots just to be like, well, either I win money or the Eagles win the Super Bowl? You know, that, you... you know that answer. I know you're all in on the birds, but yeah, no, I would never do that. It's not never how we do it. it. I know. Yeah. I just... Yeah, I, d- I definitely have a, a, a little bit of an attachment with my, my teams when I'm betting, which is kind what, of risky. What's your four teams? You didn't All right, so I'm, I'm a Yankees fan, a Patriots okay. fan, a Red Wings fan, and I guess, like, the Lakers. Um, and Alabama and Duke and <laughs> – Yeah, but I've liked them my entire life. Like, they were good forever. And, I mean. and Green Bay and <laughs> – all right. right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. It must be a tough life being a Yankees fan, a Lakers fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's yeah, a rough, rough life. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to our misery. Cowboys yeah. secretly. This is no. all the championships my family I've looks... ever experienced. It is not a lot. Yeah. My family is a, a Cowboys fan. Can you, do you know who that is up there? Me? That, not you, Cam. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. I can't even what? see anything. I mean, what are you pointing at? Looks like, like, like what I'm looking at that just looks like. I don't Basketball, even know. What you're I can't even at. tell. Nah, it's Rod Brindamore. All right, whatever. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, Rod the bot. But yeah, let me see right. the jersey talk, and then I'll know or something. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess it's a bad picture. Yeah, the Halo Two picture, Fox. But that's that's a great I person. Like that's Halo OG. Two. Oh yeah, that's picture. OG. Yeah, you guys got a great background. I need to figure mine out. <laughs> upside down. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, th- that is that is kind of the wave, though. If you, if you had it, like, completely normal, then, like, it'd be, like... The cards... Obvious. ...are ridiculous. Yeah. Like, uh, like, spent way too much money on them. It's a scam. No one can even see them. I know. <laughs> doesn't matter. Scam. Just think scam. That's all. What was your most expensive uh, box break or whatever? Uh, well... The way I do, like, do you see the way they do it? Like, uh, like you how you buy into did? it on a stream? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, I uh, seven fifty. I put on one, but like, I I got like a one hundred one Devonte Smith, which is cool because he's an eagle. But like, mm-hmm. what what am I gonna do with these cards? What am I gonna do with these cards? <laughs> I don't know. Put I them mean, on your stream so no one can see who they are. Give them to your right. kids, you know. Yeah, give them. Yeah, right. And then they're gonna be where where it's like a it's like an NFT. Who yeah. knows what they're worth? I don't know. I guess we'll find out if you're <laughs> just living in the hills because of your your sports cards. Yeah. There you go. I do got to get going, boys. Yeah, I, was I apologize. Just, yeah, this was beautiful, though. I like this was great, man. This. Thanks for putting it on. Could, of course. Talk all day. Yeah, well, we could do this again when we actually have stuff to talk about too. Like with the NHL when the game three. comes out, we're in. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, just let us know. Yeah, well, make sure you guys uh, follow them on anything that they do. Uh, CJ on Twitch and Marcinus all over the place, too. I mean, they're going to be grinding the game, so you can be watching them and learn from them. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys again for coming out. And uh, Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Peace, boys. Later.